Well, congratulations, Gary. Made rather hard work of that today, but the 50 points has been hit. Yeah, yeah, I think the way we look at it, I always turn and said, you get 50 points. That's the first target for Woking Football Club. That's, you know, stability. I think that's survival in the National Conference Premier Division. I think so straight away, that's a, a tremendous achievement to be able to uh, add that total on the ball, still with nine games to go. I think that uh, there's big faults probably from a lot of opinions around uh, Woking with everybody connected with the football club with, you know, us working on a, you know, restricted budget by the standards of the Conference League with uh, 16, you know, full-time clubs and 13 ex-football league clubs. We always knew that uh, it was going to be a tough target straight away and you, you can see that in respect to the league where it's been this season. But, you know, as I say, we we're up to 52 points. We're up probably around the top 10 in the league at the moment. Got nine games to go where it gives us uh, an opportunity to, you know, as much as we will still want to go and get results to, you know, um, enjoy games and hopefully uh, look at certain things what we want to do going forward. But, of course, uh, performance today, um, frustrating really. Got off to a great start, turning up in the first 10 or 15 minutes. No disrespect to Telford, they're not having the best of times and of course they've had a few problems in respect to the management side and things being changed around and you think it could be one of them days where you know you feel like when you're tuning up in the first 10 minutes or that you can go and get a few but uh, all credit to them, we were sloppy at times in the first half even though we got another goal and were three up at half time it could have well been 5-3 at half time, you know I think the scoreline flattered us. I think we were sloppy, not just as a back four, but I felt collectively as a team, I felt that we thought, with a great respect to Telford, it's not the case and it shouldn't be the case, that uh, this was a day where we could go and get a lot of goals and the discipline wasn't there, which was very frustrating. Said that half time really and um, expressed that if they got a goal back, they play with no fear, they could get back in the game and rightly so, they got a goal back and you know, when they get back to 3 2, I think that everybody in the ground, even myself and Steve Thompson, was very, very anxious. And, you know, we've uh, got a break, really. I felt that even though they got back to 3-2, it could have probably been, you know, dead and buried 10 minutes in the second half. We had three or four great opportunities to really finish it off, weren't to be. And it became a little bit of a battle, but, you know, we've uh, gone on and won the game. 5-2 in respect of a game which probably as I say could have been probably 10-6 but a three big points for us today and I think somebody would have turned around and said to me at 5-3 to three, well you're going to get the three points today Gary and Broken are going to be on 52 points and you know uh, I'd have took that more than probably than the performance today so please. And a tremendous performance from Bradley Barb to score a hat trick at any level is a superb achievement. He's done well Bubby you know I think he's one of them sort of lads uh, you've got to be able to handle him uh, I get on very well with him, I can handle him well, he, he, you know, he can be hard work at times, he can throw a sulk or he can be lazy at times, you know, uh, but, you know, you have to keep kidding to him and keep motivating him and, you know, he's done very well for us this year, you know, he's up to 16, I think he's got now uh, for us and uh, any player who goes and gets, you know, more than 12, 14 goals in the Conference League, uh, our competitive is today, uh, has done remarkably well. So he's going to be pushing on, like, you know, I told him at the start of the season, you're going to get 20 goals, and he looked at me as if to say, you sure? And that, that's what we fetched him here, season loan, and uh, see where we go from there. But, you know, um, I hear different things about this and different things about that. But I say, uh, we've got Bubby to the end of the season, we get on well with him, he's enjoying his football. And um, same as everybody else, they've played their contributions in respect of, you know, creating chances and playing their part. And as much as we've got a few injuries around us today, and we've had recently, you know, it's nice to have Billy not back after a three-week absence. And uh, you know, he went of course out the team with his hamstring, and we got him off to that 60 minutes. We've had a, a very good working relationship with Sunderland Football Club, where Billy comes from, as we know, and. Um, you've got to look after that situation so you know how long we will have Billy for and how long we will keep going forward for to get results with Billy I don't know at the moment because as I say it's a, a case of that we've been very fortunate and very lucky to get a quality player like Billy not down at Kingfield and having me has probably since October time and I think uh, Sunderland flat but Billy's enjoyed it and the, the players get a great lift when they see Billy walking that's for sure.
and as you rightly say, Billy Knott today made a big difference, didn't he? Even though he's not really match fit because he's been out for a while, he has real quality on the ball and real vision and energy. Oh, he's a good player. He's a very good player. He's a very, very good player at this level. Don't worry about that. There's not many more creative midfield players in the Conference League than Billy Knott, if there is any. Don't worry about that. He is a quality player. And, you know, it's been, you know, a great benefit to Woking Football Club. You know, people can turn around and say to themselves, well, you know, where we are now and the points, what we got, where would we be if we've had Billy Knott all season? But then I put the other flip of the coin and turn around and say, if we didn't have Billy Knott at all, where would we be this stage of the season? So, you know, we're grateful for everything from Sunderland Football Club and for Billy Knott uh, for him to play his part for us. And Gary, you've hit that magic 50 points mark. Darry, I'll ask you, what's your next target? 65, I think, you know, I think that uh, we've got nine games to go and that's the one what's we've thrown down now. You know, if we could get 65 points, I'd probably look at that as a, probably a better achievement uh, than probably winning the Conference South last year. You know, to be a part-time club in this league, uh, it's moved on a great deal over the last four or five years since myself and Steve Thompson were involved uh, in the Conference. But as I say, with uh, so many full-time clubs pushing the boat out, breaking the, you know, the finances to big figures, it, it's, it's become you know, very competitive. But for our club and um, everyone connected at Woking Football Club, I think it's a tremendous achievement where we are and where we've got to and where we are hopefully pushing on to going forward now. And next up on Tuesday night, it's Braintree away. Assuming, of course, the game is on. I think they've had a good win today, so another very difficult away game. Uh, yeah, they, you know, they're, they're an our team, Braintree. There's no doubt about that. You know, they've done very, very well. Uh, and, you know, uh, they've had some great results, certainly away from home as well as at home as well. You know, they beat Forest Green at home, beat Grinsby at home, you know, beat Luton at home. You know, they've beat Luton away. They've done very, very well. And uh, all credit to Alan Devonshire and Braintree, you know. I think they like the tag of like being the pub team, what they're called, but they're an hard team to beat, so we're going to have to be at our best. But, you know, we're two part-time clubs. It will be a tough game, but hopefully we can go there and get a good result. Lovely. Thank you very much, Gary. Enjoy your evening. Cheers.